What's good, YouTube fam? Today's video is going to be about four reasons you, you have a social media stalker because we all can relate to this. But before I get into the juiciness of this video, if you are new here, welcome to the winner's circle. You're going to want to hit that subscribe button because you are home, baby. Welcome home. Hit that subscribe button. If you've been rocking with me for a while, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I just love you guys. You guys have been making me smile, giving me feedback on my content, giving me feedback on, on those shorts that I've been posting. I love you guys so much. But um, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button because you're home, baby. Welcome to the Winter Circle. We get it popping here at the Winter Circle. We talk about real life, juicy goodness stuff, focused on personal growth and development here, okay? And I am your host, Coach E. So uh, let's get into it, though. Let's get into this video because I'm super excited about this and... Baby, so we just be having to put it all out there on the table, okay? And we just finna get into it. I got so much to say, okay? We, we just finna get into it. The The first reason you got a social media stalker is you outshine people without even trying, okay? And l let me really break this down for you guys because it has nothing to do about you being cocky, conceited, on your high horse. It has nothing to do with that. If you are part of the winner circle, I already know you don't operate with um, like a big head. You probably the most humblest person out there. And for that reason alone, that's why you're so attractive. For that reason alone, that's why you're so, that, that that's why you just have this amazing aura popping off of you because you don't operate like that. You just shining from within, you know. It, it ain't on you, baby. It's in you, okay? It's not something, it's not a facade. It's not something that you wear. It's not on you. It's in you, okay? So let's, let's clear that up. It has nothing to do with you being cocky, conceited, self-centered on your high horse, stuck up, none of that stuff. But it has everything to do with you operating in your power, okay? And that's what the goal here at, here is at the Winter Circle, to get everybody operating in their power, walking in their power, held, head held high, chin up, okay? So you outshine people without even trying, okay? You, you could probably... You could probably be at your lowest point. Man, leave me a comment in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. You could probably be at your lowest point in life, but because you carry yourself with such dignity, you handle your problems differently than other people, you you don't suffer out loud or you don't focus on the problem, people just look at you like, dang, how 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 is she doing that? How is he doing that? How are they still so happy? You feel like you're not at your best at all. You're probably at your rock bottom and people still looking at you like, I admire that person like they doing so good but you feel like like you ain't you ain't on your toes you feel like you're not at your peak you feel like you you feel like you 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 might be in this transition phase you might be in a transition phase where you feel like you're not really doing that well or it could be anything but people still look at you and just they look at you in awe they're amazed by you you outshine people without even trying. You could be at your lowest point. You still shining bright. You could be doing the most simplest thing. You it, it, you don't got to be wearing all these name brand stuff. You don't have to be um, extra loud when you go out or doing crazy stuff, attention seeking. You could, you could be wearing some leggings and a t-shirt. Okay, I stay wearing leggings. You could be so comfortable. You could be, the, it could be the most basic outfit, but you still get the attention. You still shine. You still, you outshine people and others without even trying. It, it's just like, because it's not on you, it's in you. It's something, it's an aura. It's something that you're giving off. You outshine people without even trying, even when you at your lowest point. Oh, y'all looking at my hair. It's very, y'all, y'all forgive me. Okay. It's Saturday. And I be trying to relax on the weekend, but I was like, let me get on this camera because I got something to say. I got something to say for the winter circle today, okay? So here we are, okay? So y'all give me grace because the hair ain't here right now. <laughs> it look, it, it, yeah, y'all give me grace. But you out, even still, we out shining people, okay? Even still, you out shining people. So if you know for a fact that you out shine people without even trying, don't don't be modest. Walk in your power. Today's the day you walk in your power. Walk in your power. And again, let me reiterate this. It has nothing to do with you being cocky, self-centered, on your high horse, um, all about you. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It's about you walking in your power. You know that you know that you know that you know that you know you the okay the poop <laughs> you know that you are it you got that it factor you know that you that one you got that sauce you got that sweat it, 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 it it's just in you and to the to top it off 
you don't walk around like, oh, I'm the, the, the mess. You, you probably the most, hum if you were part of the winner's circle, I know you probably the most humblest person out there. And for that reason alone, because you're so kind, you're so humble, you're not trying to poop on nobody. You're not trying to outshine nobody. You want everybody around you to win. For that reason alone is what make you hot stuff, baby. Okay. <laughs> you outshine people without even trying. And that's one of the reasons why you have social media stalkers, okay? Let me know in the comment section if you got a social media stalker. Let me know if you got a social media stalker. It, it's crazy because people, they will have an issue with you or maybe not have an issue with you, just be obsessed with you or whatever. They'll do everything but promote you, everything but like your stuff, everything but share your content, everything but, but you know, be leaving you a comment on your social media, but they stay every day every day they watching you you have a social media stalker okay let's get into the second reason you got a social media stalker second reason you got a social media stalker is they hate you just because of your existence have you ever come across someone who who just hates you for no damn reason and you'd be like like i know i didn't do nothing to them i'm genuine Excuse me, I'm genuine, I'm nice, I'm loving, I'm authentic. Like, I know for a fact that I didn't do anything to them. They hate you for your existence. And I always use, um, I always use that Bible scripture. I, I'm pretty sure it's um, James uh, 15, 18 or something like that. Let me know in the comment section if you know what verse this is. Um, they will hate you because of me. It's because they see God all over you. God, the universe, the higher, higher entity, source, energy, whatever label resonates with you, that's what you can call it. It don't even matter. We, we ain't focused on the labels here. Whatever resonates with you, the greater source is all over you and they see it. So they simply hate you because of your existence. They like, no matter what I do, she ain't jealous. No matter what, what what kind of girl I got, he ain't hating on me. No matter what kind of career I got, he he still support me. No matter um no no matter what what kind of car I got, no matter what no matter what kind of outfit I got on, they still like me. I can't do nothing to ruffle their feathers. Have you mm, have you ever been around somebody you could tell that they are intentionally going out of their way to try to make you jealous or try to make you feel away? And you're like, I know I'm not tripping. Why are you being so extra? And trying to, oh, oh you, you see my new boyfriend? You see my new girlfriend? And like, they, like they're trying to rub something in your face. They're trying to ruffle your feathers. They're, they're trying to make you feel away. You're not stupid. We're not dumb over here at the Winter Circle. We know what time it is. When people acting funny, don't step and guess yourself. You you know what it is. When people acting funny, that's exactly what it is. It's funny style. It's funny behavior. It's goofy behavior. It's dumb, okay? You know what I'm talking If you are part of the Winter Circle, you know what I'm talking about. When people go out of their way to try to make you feel bad, to try to make you feel jealous of them, to try to rub something in in your face or something, whole time, you want them to win. You can't make somebody jealous who rooting for you. <laughs> Listen, you can't make somebody jealous who rooting for you. And that's the kind of people we have here at the winner's circle, y'all. Whole time, you're like, yo, why they, why they acting all crazy like this? Why they going above and beyond it? You know inside that they trying to make you feel away. They trying to make you feel jealous because they hate you for your existence. When somebody go out of the way above and beyond to try to rub something in your face, to try to make you feel bad, to try to make you feel less than, to try to um, one-up you all the time, real, you can really tell that they trying to make you jealous the whole time. You don't give a damn. You be like... You're trying to make me jealous over your girlfriend or your boyfriend, and that's not even my type. Like, I don't I don't care. I'm actually, like, enjoying my single phase. Like, you can't make me jealous by your, your wedding ring or, like, I don't care about that. I feel bad for you for, you, you know what I mean? Like, you just don't care. You That's not where your focus is, but because they're so worried about you, they looking dumb. They looking dumb. And that's another reason you got a social media stalker. When people go, people hate you for just your existence. They go out of your way to make you feel bad, to make you feel jealous, to make you, to try to one up you, to try to make you feel any kind of way. And guess what? It never works because you don't give a damn. You so in, you so in your own lane, focused on your own thing. You don't care about none of that. So it never works. It never bothers you. You never become unhinged. You never, you never get phased. Like, 
It's the furthest thing from your mind. You never get phased. But that's another reason you got a social media stalker because they hate you for your existence and they be trying to ruffle your feathers. They be trying to rock your boat. But it just doesn't work because you don't care. You can't make nobody feel away. You can't make somebody feel jealous when they rooting for you. You want everybody to do well. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section, y'all, if you know what I'm talking about. I know if you at this winter circle, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody here who is attracted to my channel and who I'm bringing on in, who we on the same page, the same vibe, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know that there's people out there who will intentionally, and I, I mean, I say that heavy with emphasis, intentionally go out of their way to try to make you jealous, to try to make you feel away. Whole time, baby, listen. <laughs> listen, you unbothered, okay? Okay. <laughs> that, that, and that, that leads right into number three. The third sign third side, third reason, whatever. The third reason you have a social media stalker is because they in secret competition with you. They are trying to compete with you. <laughs> and let me just tell you this. If somebody is in competition with you, they lost already. When, so, when you notice that somebody is in competition with you, they lost already because whole time they worried about you, they taking away from their own life, their own gifts, their own talents. They taking energy away from their own life purpose because they so focused on you. All that energy they pouring towards you, whether it be positive or negative, hate, envy, whatever, got your name in their mouth, social, uh, searching your page or whatever. Any type, anytime somebody is pouring energy into you, it don't matter what kind of energy, that builds momentum around your name. Oh, excuse me, y'all. That builds momentum around your name, builds momentum around your purpose, what you got going on. Whatever it is that you that you doing, whether it's online or offline, whatever you got going on, whether it be school, a promotion, uh, you're, you're a great parent, a great father, a great mother, you just started gardening, you just started a nail business. It don't matter. Whatever it is that you got going on, trust me. That envy, that jealousy, them worried about you is sending energy towards you. And that builds momentum around what you got going on, who you are, and that, baby, listen, that's going to make that wave. That's going <laughs> to make a, just a huge wave. It, it, it's going to make that currency, that momentum, that cash flow, okay, that current flowing towards you. So don't even sweat it. Don't even sweat it. But that's another reason you have a social media stalker because they stay in competition with you. If they always in competition with you, you know, you know for sure they on your social media. You know for sure they stalking you. You know for sure. But anytime somebody is in competition with you, they lost already. Because whole time, and I'm going to say it again, whole time, you're not worried about them. You focused on your own level up you focused on your own growth you focused on your own business you fo you minding your business you in your lane okay you in your lane anytime somebody is in competition with you and you know you know when somebody is in competition with you just like i said prior to uh the previous time um they they always trying to one up you they try to um throw you under the bus or try to make it seem like um what you got going on ain't that great or they're not really interested or you picked a bad choice you got bad taste what you got going on is uh mediocrity type stuff that that's the type of energy they be giving off you just be like and you probably won't even say nothing you just take a mental note and you probably just distance yourself. That's what we do here at the Winter Circle. We don't argue with nobody. We don't try to um, prove our worth or our value. We don't become unhinged. We are emotionally intelligent. All we do is take a mental note and remove. And that's all it take, okay? Because when you remove your energy, that's when it hit them in the face. Like, ooh, like I ruined it and I missed that. Anytime you, because you operate out of pure purity. You got a pure heart. And anytime you take pure, good, good energy away from somebody, it hit them like a ton of bricks and it's effective, okay? Your absence is effective, okay, you guys? Remember that. Your absence is effective. You ain't got to argue with nobody. You ain't got to go back and forth with nobody. You ain't got to try to prove yourself to nobody. Because they're in competition with you, that's already the proof. You the prize. You number one. You the real MVP. That's why they're trying to compete with you, okay? When somebody is trying to compete with you, that is a loud, that, that's out loud that you the one. You the one, baby. <laughs> you the one. But that's why you got social media stalkers. Because you the one. <laughs> Let's move on, y'all. Let's move on. Let's move on to the fourth reason you got social media stalkers. The fourth reason you have a social media stalker 
is because mo monitoring spirits are everywhere. Monitoring spirits are everywhere. They stay monitoring you. They, they search in your page. They looking to see what your next post is. They looking to see what you got going on. They looking to see what venture your next business is, is taking. They looking to see, but a lot of times they not looking because they curious on your come up. They looking to see when you gonna fuck up. That's what they looking to see. They looking to see, oh, okay, you know, Ebony coach, she posts every day. But the moment I take a break and don't post, they, they hoping and praying that, I, that that something happened, that I gave up, that, you know, I'm on my downfall. I'm, on, I'm going downhill. I'm declining. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for you to become, um, for you to stop the momentum on your business or your greatness, whatever it is that you got going on, whatever it is that, that makes you great about you, because it ain't got to be a business. Do you know? Do you know people will be envious of you and be jealous of you just for the simple pack that simple pack <laughs> just for the simple pack just for the simple fact that other people just love the hell out of you people will be jealous of you because you get unconditional love and people just admire you that's a real thing you ain't even got to be having nothing extra extravagant going on in your life like because everybody's life is different, but people just because of the glow you give off, the confidence, the self-love, you just being genuine, you just being secure in yourself, and other people gravitating to, towards that, and other people loving you for that, people will be jealous of the dumbest thing. Whole time, all they got to do is worry about themselves and pour into their own light and their own mental health and their own growth, and they can have the same glow up as you, okay? <laughs> but anyways, I kind of went off on a tangent on that one because... You, there, there's a lot of monitoring spirits. They constantly searching your page. They con probably on every platform, probably TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, IG, Twitter, whatever, threads, whatever else is out there. They are monitoring you. They are watching you. They want to, they waiting on your downfall. They wait to see if you go mess up. And, and sometimes, you know, people do want to see you good and they still stalking you. They still just but they won't share, they won't like, like, they won't like, they won't comment. They be all up in the comment section replying to other people's comments, but they won't like the post. Whew. Let me know in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. They be all up in the comment section. They might respond to somebody's comment, da, 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 but they will never like the post. They will never share the post. It's, it's, like, they, they, it's like they're a ghostwriter. They're a ghostwriter because they don't want to be seen, but they got something to say about it. <laughs> They don't want to be seen, but they got something to say about it. That's why you got social media stalkers. Because of your greatness. You are great. Keep on shining. If you're a part of the winner's circle, I know for a fact. I know for a fact that you got a social media stalker. And like I said, it doesn't mean that you have to be living this extravagant life or doing this or doing anything all crazy. It's, it's who you are. It's in you, not on you. It's your vibe. It's your aura. It's your it's your your talent. It's your your skills. It shows your 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 suaveness. It's how you maneuver in life. It's how you it's how you engage with people. It's how people are attracted to you. People are drawn to you. It is everything that you embody. Okay, when you embody those type of things, and if you haven't embodied all of it yet, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Riding with me over here because you will. As long as you're a part of this winter circle, <laughs> listen, baby, you will embody. Success. Success. You will embody love. You will embody prosperity. Y'all see what's on my chest? Okay. You will embody everything that everyone admires, desires, wants, loves, needs, all of that. Okay? All of that. You be in your own lane, though. You be in your own lane. And I love that. I love that about y'all. So I, I, I just really want, I, I need to say this, though. It doesn't matter how bad somebody hating on you. It doesn't matter how much um, negative karma somebody could wish towards you or um, um, plotting on you, scheming on you. None, none of that matters. A lot of people be giving man too much power. Oh, don't don't tell anybody your um, your your plan or what you got going on. You want to move in silence because you know there's negative energy out there and people people not everybody is for you. Man, y'all giving man way too much power. There's nothing that God got for me. There's nothing that the universe is going to bring my way that another man can stop, period. Whether I'm out loud with it, whether I move in silence, whether I only tell certain fans and family members. Yeah, people going to feel how they feel, but there's nothing no one can do to, to, that can stop the blessings that are coming my way, that what God got for me, what the universe is orchestrating to, to bring into my experience. There's nothing that no one can do. Period. And um, let's go a little bit deeper into that, how, you know, like people believe in, you know, um, voodoo and all of all of that is uh, that stuff is true. That stuff is real. But it's only about your belief system. If you believe it to be true, 
That's what's going to be. That's what you're going to experience. Your belief system is what governs how things affect you, period. There's nobody who can conjure up all this negativity towards me and it affect me. Why? Because I know who, who I am. I know that I'm valuable. I know I'm safe and protected at all times. And that's the mindset I want you guys to embody. There's nothing else that another man can do that could take away from what you got going on. That could take, there's not enough negative, oh, I'm going to wish, um, you know, this about you unless you believe it. The moment you believe it and you give somebody that dominion to speak stuff over you, you believe it. The moment you believe it, you watered it. And now your belief system is what activates that to, to manifest in your life. Think about that, okay? But again, there's nothing. Man, comment in the comment section and say, there's nothing that a man could take from me, what God has for me, okay? God is the end all, be all, say all. The universe is the end all, be all, say all. The higher energy, source energy, the entity, the great all, end all, be all. I am that I am. That's it. There's nothing else that somebody else can do that could stop my greatness, prolong my greatness. And if something was prolonged because they, because I might say because of this person, but whole time it was a lesson. It was, it was something that I had to grow through and learn. It's never nobody else. It's all about you. What you going to believe, what you going to water, what you going to let affect you. It's never nothing else. So y'all keep on being great because even though we got these uh, social media stalkers, they ain't moving nothing, they ain't phasing nothing. It. Let that ignite you and to keep on being more great because the bottom line is if you don't have a hater, if you don't have a few stalkers or two, you really probably ain't moving that much, okay? You, pro you probably could uh, ante it up a little bit, okay? And get get them super fans, get, start ruffling them super fans' uh, feathers, okay? But y'all stay encouraged, okay? Because at the winner's circle, trust me, you won't have haters. And it's a wonderful thing. Haters make you become great. And I think I'm going to make a video about that. I made it short about that. But I want to elaborate about that. Y'all stay tuned because I'm probably about to drop another video. I love y'all. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time on the Winner's Circle.